there welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today is going to be a what's on my nails video i'm really excited to show you all what i have on my nails i do have something different than what i typically go with so if you are interested be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video so before i show you what's on my nails let me just say this i decided to go back to my original nail tech for this time um she ended up making my nails thicker which i really appreciate because for the longest time i've been I don't want to say for the longest time but for the last two to three nail visits I've been breaking my nails like either the thumb was broken or my pointer finger would get broken um you know the point is just the nails were not reliable in my opinion um I have always leaned toward thicker nails like I've mentioned in some other videos just because thicker nails in my opinion they they're they're sturdier you know in my experience they're they've been more sturdy now if my nails don't have to be thick for them to be sturdy then I believe you um, you know I, I've gotten comments that they really don't have to be thick in order for them not to break however in my experience the thinner that my nails are the more nails tend to break so I went to the shop I actually got in on Sunday um, she wasn't going to go to the shop but she opened it for me so I was so excited about that and I was so appreciative that she decided to do that um, and so I was thinking of different things to do and so um, because it is Halloween right around the corner I decided to get purple and black so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got on my nails so this is what my nails are looking like um, and so I don't know the exact name of the polish that she used um, nor the exact brand to be honest I, I don't know I don't know the brand or the color name um, but I do know that she said these were new polishes that she got in so I'm going to start with the black nail the black nail I decided to get just because uh, I thought it would look kind of Halloweeny, being black and purple and both of the black nails um, are really gorgeous it's just I wish they had more definition in them so I wish like this purple would come through a little bit more. Well, actually a lot more than it's coming through now. If you can see, there's also small like glitter dots below the line. I just wish that you could see it more. I was thinking that once I got out of the shop and actually got into the natural light, it's not really bright today either. So I was just thinking that once I actually got into the natural light and, you know, got to feel the sun and see the sun, that my nails would reflect off of the sun even more and I just thought that when I went outside of the shop you would be able to really see the um really see the different dimensions of the nails because it's like purple but it's also kind of like a pinkish color I'm trying to show you just the black nails so they're really pretty um, don't get me wrong I do like them how they are now I just wish that like I mentioned you would be able to see the definition a little bit more in my nails like you can kind of see some glitter down there I decided to keep my same shape so my sh shape is still like a pointy stiletto um, tip they're not as pointy as I got them last time but I appreciate that I didn't really want them as pointy um, the only thing that I would say I would probably get different when I go back is my thumb shape. For some reason, this thumb looks really, really crooked to me. I'm going to kind of show you. Let me know if you all can tell or if I'm just being anal about it. But um, it just doesn't look as straight to me. I feel like it's more so like going that way or I don't it's easier for me to tell like when I'm looking at it. So it's more so going this way. But I don't know if you all can tell that or not. Um, so I'm going to move to the purple nails. Now I do wish that I got all of the nails this purple color. Because the purple is just so beautiful. Like there's just so many different glitter chunks. And the color is beautiful. I just didn't know if all of my nails with this color would be like too much. I didn't want... I don't mind getting designs and loud colors and things like that, but I just didn't want, I didn't want it too, too glittery, if that makes sense. I didn't want all of my nails to just be super shiny and um, iridescent. I think that's the, the name I, or that's the word I'm looking for. I just wanted, you know, some nails to kind of be a little bit more toned down. Um, so that's why I decided to go with the black. 
and the black definitely serves that purpose it is a little bit toned down but i don't know if i really know exactly what i wanted as far as the color change because on one hand i do want you know um less loud nails on on some nails on some fingers but then again i'm complaining because i wish that the purple was more loud so i don't know i really don't know but i i am satisfied with the outcome of the polish and the nails and the shape so back to what i was showing you i'm showing you the purple nails these are really really pretty i'm trying to get an up close picture or view for you all so these were shining in the shop i did not have to wait to go outside to see the effects of this polish you know sometimes you have to go outside and actually get in the light to be able to see the true color of your polish and especially if you have glitter just in my experience i have to kind of go out and kind of look at it in different lights to see it really jump and show its true uh, color for me but she said this polish is new too so i don't know if it's just new to her shop or if it's new just out on the market but when she did the polish i thought i was going to have to dip my nails in because she painted the nails like a solid purple and then she took out this little jar she opened the jar and it had like glitter pieces and so she took like a little brush dipped it into the glitter pieces and brushed it on my nail and i guess because she polished it first uh the pieces stuck to the polish and then she took a top coat of gel polish and went over it and then i cured it under the light and that's pretty much what she did um i think she did put two coats of the purple polish and one coat of the um glitter pieces but i really like that um i thought it looked really really cool when she did it and i was very pleased on how it came out now for this, these are, I remember now, this is called the cat eye polish. I've had this before, just not in this color. And pretty much she painted a black color on my nails. Um, we let that cure and then she put the cat eye polish on top. And then she also used like two different magnets. So she took one magnet and held it at the um, front of my nail. And then another magnet and held it at the back of my nail. And she kind of moved it together to create the lines. Um, like on my thumb, you can kind of see I have more definition than like on my middle finger. So if all of the nails were like this, I think I would have liked it better. Because it's still not too, too loud, but it still shows enough. Like I feel like if you look at these nails quick, then it looks like I just have black nails. You really have to look in my opinion to kind of see the purple sticking through on all of my nails except this nail this nail is really really pretty and this is how i wish all the nails would have been like i mentioned but i don't mind i don't mind it at all um let me show you the shape now a lot of you are probably going to say that my nails look completely thicker and like i mentioned in the beginning of the video they do however that's not a bad thing i'm really excited that they are thicker because i don't I, my, my biggest pet peeve with nails is having nails that break i can even deal with a nail that's kind of lopsided a little bit as long as it's sturdy and it's not breaking so these nails feel really really sturdy you can just feel when you leave the nail shop in my opinion how sturdy the nails are going to be sometimes i just kind of do like this to see if i can you know, if they feel like they're going to break, if they feel like they're bending. I've even left nail shops before where my um, nail was actually bending. And I'm like, this is definitely too, too, you know, it's, it's too thin. It's too thin. Um, but this time, I think because it was just me in the shop initially, because uh, it was a Sunday and she wasn't open, she really took her time to do a fantastic job. I even had to follow up and send her a thank you message today because I was just blown back. You know, I was excited when I left and today just looking at my nails i'm like these nails are amazing they're amazing i love them so once again this is what's on my nails i decided to do something different like i mentioned i wanted to do something i don't want to know if i wanted to say spooky I wanted to do something um kind of spooky well these aren't really even spooky nails but i wanted to do something um that are kind of like halloween -y. now i was thinking about getting um orange because I really didn't know what color to get. I just knew that I wanted something a little bit different than what I typically get. So when I initially went into the nail shop, I didn't know what color I wanted to get. I was leaning more towards orange and like a fall color. I really wanted to get orange because it would have 
it's, it's like a Halloween color and also it's a fall color. So I'm like, okay, orange will really, really um, work nice. You know, that, that would be something different and something beautiful and in season. But I'm not even the type of in season type of, per I mean, how can I explain this? I like to be in season sometimes, but I'm not really too worried about being in season, if that makes sense. Um, it would be nice to have festive nails and it would be nice to kind of coordinate with the seasons, but it's not like it's a necessity or a requirement for me. So when I got in there and I saw the options that she had um, for orange and the options that she had for black and the options that she had, and when I say black, I was looking at like different glitter that I can put on top of the black. Um, and then I saw these polishes and I'm like, yeah, I quickly made my mind. So I think next time I'm probably going to get another polish like this. She did charge $15 extra for this polish. Um, the same price that she would have charged for like a design, but I don't, I don't think that that's, I don't think that that's a problem. I don't think that that's too much. Um, because like I said, it, it wasn't really just the polish that she used. She also had to use either the magnets for the cat eye. And then she also had to use like a smaller box or a smaller container that had glitter pieces and actually paint those or pack those on my nails so I can see it being $15 extra um, but like I said next time she has a lot of different colors like this I really think that I'm going to get all of my nails in a color like this um, but not purple I'm probably going to get the same glitter pieces but I may get like a I may get like a pink she had a really really nice pink that I wanted that I would like to try so I don't know if I'm going to do the cat eye with pink again or if I'm going to get all of the nails like this which I'm, I think I'm leaning more toward getting off the nails like this but I just wanted to come on here and show you all that I'm super satisfied and excited with my new nails um, it's been a long time since I tried something like this they're not too too crazy I know there's you know people that get lots and lots of designs and jewels and things like that but for me um, this is something new I haven't really gotten uh, you know, I haven't had this length in a long time and I haven't had uh, these colors in a long time where it feels like a long time to me. So if you like my nails this time, let me know. Uh, if you like the polish, let me know because I really want to get the pink color next time. But I just wanted to show you all again what my nails look like. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!